We're going to cook um, fresh mackerel fillet, um, beautifully and fresh. Just look at the quality of this fish, it's shiny, doesn't smell fishy, it's just absolutely wonderful. But we better get used to eating it because with fish stocks being depleted by the day, by the month, we need to get used to eating this fish. We should be eating this at least once a week. It's cheap, it's good to eat, and it's very, very easy to cook. So we're gonna cook that a wee bit later on. We're gonna serve that with two different sauces with an oriental twist. Mackerel isn't always the most appealing fish in the world to eat, and that's what puts people off it. So I've come up with something different. It's right in season at the moment. Um, we're gonna serve it with a, um, a sauce made with um, lemon juice, orange juice, orange zest, lemon zest from freshly chopped ginger, some dark soy sauce. I'm going to use this which is daikon or white radish or muli, which again is used extensively in Japanese cuisine. We're going to grate that and add it to the sauce. We're going to serve it with a lovely vegetable salad. So again, it will bring some colour into the dish and we've got some green beans, mange too, baby corn and some nice baby carrots. I'm going to serve it with a second sauce, which is a, uh, a glaze. And in here we've got um, sugar, ginger, red chilli, red pepper and soy sauce. Our mac has been cooked out and we're going, to, we're going to use a stick blender to make that nice and smooth. So that's my first job. So transfer it to the to deep bowl and we're going to whiz it. So nice, slow speed. Make it nice and smooth. And there we have it. That's the, that's the glaze for the, for the mackerel. Leave that to one side. It's like a kind of sweet and sour sauce with a bit of chilli. I've used the large red chilies which haven't got an awful lot of heat. It's about half one of those gone in. Don't use the tiny, tiny ones little bird's eye chilies or the thin skinny ones because they'll, they'll give you too much of a kick and that's of course you like a bit of heat. Yeah, that's perfect, that's ready to go. So that's good, leave that to one side. The daikon, so we've peeled the daikon, we've got a fine grater and we're just going to grate the muli very quickly on here. Oh, there's nice fine bits. This has got a nice peppery flavour to it, as most radish does. Make sure you don't grate the ends of your fingers, as we all do periodically. So that's it. That's done. That goes in the bowl with the lemon juice, lemon zest, orange juice, orange zest, like so. Mix that in, and this gives the dish a real a real kick. So I'm going to mix that through like so. A bit more of the, the zest and juice in there. And this is great if it's made overnight or a couple of days ahead. All the flavours develop. Soy sauce, a nice dark soy sauce. Good splash of that. Like so. Mix that through. So in a way it's like a kind of relish, I suppose, this particular dressing we do and the pepperiness from the the daikon really really brings this dish, dish to life soy sauce is fairly salty so you won't need too much salt in here you might just need a tiny tiny pinch that's the dish ready as I said before the pepperiness of the muli comes through it's absolutely delicious it's best made a couple of days ahead when the flavours really, really develop. So I'm going to put that into serving dish like so. Some of the juice on top. That's your, one of the sauces out of the way. And we're going to also serve the chilli glaze in a side bowl as well. So there we go. That sauce is absolutely gorgeous it's chili glaze there we are so those are the three sauces we've got the pickled ginger we've got the glaze and we've got the the muli or the daikon 
the vegetables. I'm just going to season them a little bit with the the daikon dressing, like so. Just going to put a splash of soy on there. Won't need very much. Bring it to life. Tiny squish of olive oil. A little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to do this before we start to cook the mackerel. As soon as we start to cook the mackerel, the mackerel is going to be cooked in about three or four minutes. So just toss that through into the, into the glass bowl so you can see what's going on. And we're going to arrange the vegetables down on these dishes. Nice and colourful. You could use sorted salad leaves if you wanted to. But I just thought it would be great to use some nice bright vegetables in what can be dull winter months. So there we are. That's ready. A little bit of the dressing can go around the, the veg, like so. There we are. That's ready. Heat the pan first, preferably a non-stick pan. A little bit of oil in there, like so. And we're going to season the fish when it goes into the pan. Just a tiny little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and we're in business. Make sure it's nice and hot. There we are. Skin side down. Just enough oil to stop it from sticking, like so. And we'll get a third one in there as well. There we are. Tiny little bit of salt and pepper. You won't need very much because the dressings are quite well seasoned. There we go. Just make sure there's enough oil in there so the mackerel fillets don't stick to the pan. And as I said, a non-stick pan is quite essential for this particular dish. So one or two minutes, skin side down. Leave them like that for a moment. And we're gonna turn them over after a minute, like so. Use the side of the pan. Nice golden color on there, like so. And back over on here. And Sometimes people are worried about cooking pieces of fish. With a piece of mackerel, you don't need to be. It's going to be cooked in literally two or three minutes. So another couple of minutes on that side. If you're really not sure, there's a little tip I'm going to give you. I'm just going to pop that in the oven for literally one minute. It's going to go in the oven for one minute and no more. When we're cooking large pieces of fish in a busy restaurant kitchen, we always use an oven. You may have seen it on television. Chefs are in the ovens left, right and centre. And that's because you've got the heat hitting it from all angles. When you're pan frying, you've just got the heat coming from one saw un underneath. The oven, you've got all the heat around it. It's 360 heat cooking the fish. So that's a minute in the oven. Fish comes out. And that's definitely going to be cooked. You can just push your finger through. That's done. And to serve this, all we're going to do is put the mackerel fillets on the vegetables like so. I'm going to take a little bit of the chilli glaze and just dribble that on the top of the mackerel like so. And serve the other sauces on the side. And that's a lovely, beautiful way to eat mackerel.